Super Mario's 35th anniversary shocked the world, especially when Nintendo decided to confirm the long-awaited rumors of a 3D Mario collection coming to the Nintendo Switch, with that being the release of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. And to top all of that, I think Nintendo decided to release a one, like, just one singular video uh, announcing a prequel to one of the best Switch games on the system, with that being The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I don't think anyone, and I mean, I don't think anyone was expecting Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity to launch November 20th of this year. Man, I'm just as shocked as everyone else. And with all of these events unfolding right before our eyes, I think maybe, just maybe, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is just the very beginning. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy JC back at it again with another YouTube video. And today we have a little discussion video where I will be talking about the future of the Nintendo Switch and what is yet to come within the next year or two, especially for the Zelda franchise. I just want to start off by saying if you haven't already, please be sure to go check out my Super Mario Bros. 35th Anniversary Direct reaction video and my Super Mario 3D All-Stars unboxing video as they sort of relate to this video and it just mean a lot if you go check them out. And while you're at it, please be sure to hit that red rectangular subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future uploads. I just want to thank you guys so much for the support on this channel. It really does mean a lot. And with all that is said, let's get right into the discussion. So. It's Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary, and Nintendo decides to go all out. I'm talking a Super Mario 3D World port to the Switch, a new Super Mario Bros. Battle Royale game, a real-life RC Mario Kart game, and of course, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, featuring Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy all on the Nintendo Switch. Not to mention a special edition retro Game & Watch coming this November. And to top it all off with a bunch of uh, promotional events, prizes, brand deals, Nintendo has a really good anniversary on their hands. But when talking about Nintendo's fan favorite Italian plumber, we cannot forget about Nintendo's very own fantasy RPG, that game right there, The Legend of Zelda. There's a very interesting situation that's coming up very shortly, and that situation being Zelda's 35th anniversary will be coming next year. So what is Nintendo gonna do for that? Now seeing everything Nintendo is doing for Mario, you have to just imagine, just imagine what they'd be doing for Zelda. Like literally, Mario and The Legend of Zelda go hand in hand. There's no way they'd celebrate this much for Mario and just put Zelda to the side, right? Now this topic is very open to interpretations and predictions. So let me know what you guys think of Zelda's 35th anniversary in the comment section down below. But let me tell you what I think. Nintendo has just been teasing us. They just tease us for as of this year, there will be another Zelda game coming to the Nintendo Switch with that being Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. This game is going to be a prequel set 100 years before Breath of the Wild, telling the story of the Great Calamity and the Calamity War. Now, people know that The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is one of, if not the most popular game on the Nintendo Switch, and also one of the most selling games on the Nintendo Switch. I mean, it would just make sense to release a prequel to Breath of the Wild. One, to keep current Zelda fans occupied until uh, Zelda's 35th anniversary actually happens. And two, they want to lure in more and new Zelda players who maybe haven't even played a Zelda game before or haven't played Breath of the Wild. So starting off with this prequel is just a really good idea. Nintendo's just trying to capitalize on the Zelda franchise before its 35th anniversary so that they can make this 35th anniversary bigger and better than ever. 
maybe even bigger and better than Mario's 35th anniversary. Now, here is the topic that I want to address most right now. This is a very broad and very ambitious idea for Nintendo, but they could release a collection of Zelda ports just like they did with Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Now hear me out. I'm not as big on the Zelda franchise as I am with the Mario franchise, so I don't know everything there is to know about past Zelda games. But after doing some research, I do have to say that it is a very possible idea. The games I'm talking about are Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, and even the highly rumored Skyward Sword Switch port. I mean, this is not some far idea we're talking about. Just look at the games themselves. Both Wind Waker and Twilight Princess got HD remakes on the Wii U. And we all know that Nintendo has been deciding to transfer every single Wii U game to the Nintendo Switch so that these amazing games could see the light of day on a successful system. So it wouldn't be too far off to see Twilight Princess or Wind Waker make its way over to the Nintendo Switch just like a bunch of other Wii U ports have. Now this can go one of many ways. We can see Nintendo just basically porting the Wii U versions over to Nintendo Switch, which most likely could happen. We could see a remastered version with maybe a little bit better graphics, maybe a little spice of content here and there. Or we can see a total remake. Now, the remake is probably the most far off idea out there. If I'm being honest, they're probably only gonna stick to remasters or just straight up ports. And if we are going to be seeing a port of some sort for those two games, it could be very likely that these could be added to a collection of Zelda games for their 35th anniversary. Now let's look at Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Both games were released on the N64 and to this modern day, they can be seen as remasters on the 3DS. Since they were remasters on the 3DS and not the Wii U, I'm not sure how easy it would be to port those games to the Switch, especially with the 3DS touchscreen controls and all of that stuff. But we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, maybe they can port their N64 titles instead, or maybe have an HD remaster of the N64 titles for the Switch. But either way, these games are not out of the concept, and they could totally be added to a collection of Zelda games for the 35th anniversary. Lastly, I want to talk about Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword originally released in 2011 on the Wii. Now, within the next year, Skyward Sword will be having its 10th anniversary by itself, just the game, along with Zelda's 35th anniversary. If we would be seeing any Zelda ports coming to the Nintendo Switch, it would most definitely have to be this one. And the rumors of a Skyward Sword Switch port coming soon keeps being more likely true each day as more and more rumors float around about Skyward Sword being ported to the Switch. There have been several leaks, there have been several rumors, there have even been Amazon listings for a Skyward Sword port on Switch, like accidentally. Oh my god, that's just a sign, right? That's literally just a sign. But if this game alone does not get a standalone Switch port, then it could be seen in a Zelda collection um, game along with these other games I just mentioned. That's the big idea I wanted to throw at you guys, that Nintendo could be releasing a Zelda collection game of some sorts for Zelda's 35th anniversary next year. Just so I can make my official prediction, you heard it here, right here, you heard it here first. I want to say that if they do release a Zelda collection like sort of game just like they did with Super Mario 3D All-Stars for Zelda's 35th anniversary I want to say the games that they'll include are Wind Waker and Twilight Princess because they were ported to the Wii U and then Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time for they were ported to the 3DS. My guess is that the rumors of the Skyward Swords switch port is true 
uh, within itself and that it's gonna get a standalone port instead and it won't be part of the collection. Now you may be thinking, Super Mario 3D All-Stars got three ports, but I just listed four Zelda games. Well, you are correct. Let's not forget that Super Mario Galaxy 2 was not included in the list of games on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars collection. Um, I don't know why this was the way it was, but I just want to say that my guess would be um, that Super Mario Galaxy 2 was foreshadowed by the original Super Mario Galaxy game, so they just didn't want to throw that in there. But that's not the case with the Zelda games. So while Super Mario 3D All-Stars will have three ports, I think this Zelda collection will have four. And I guess in a way you can also say that um, it lines up with Super Mario 3D World coming to the Switch um, because Skyward Sword would just be getting a standalone Switch port just like Super Mario 3D World. Um, as for anything else Nintendo could be doing for Zelda's 35th anniversary, um, they could be doing a bunch of Zelda promos and brand deals. They can make a Zelda Lego set, just like they did with Mario, or maybe even a Zelda Special Edition Game & Watch, like they did with Mario. Don't forget, there are also a bunch of spin-off, uh, side story, third-party Zelda games that could be making an appearance for Zelda's 35th anniversary. To wrap it all up, we cannot forget about the anticipating sequel of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. While Breath of the Wild 2 has already been announced and is already in the works, it will probably be a long while before it releases. With the prequel of Breath of the Wild coming out in less than a month, it's most likely that we will probably not be seeing Breath of the Wild 2 coming out this year in the holiday season. This means we're probably gonna have to wait until 2021 or even beyond, even farther. But who knows, maybe uh, for Zelda's 35th anniversary, they'll release Breath of the Wild 2, or maybe we'll just get more announcements for Breath of the Wild 2. I don't, I don't have a single clue of what Nintendo's plans are, but it could, it could, it could happen, guys. It could happen. So that wraps it up for my end of the discussion on the future of the Zelda franchise on the Nintendo Switch. But I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think is gonna happen for Zelda's 35th anniversary. If you enjoyed this discussion video, please be sure to super smash that like button down below as well as share this video with your friend. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest of what I have to offer. I'm trying my best to upload at least once a week for you guys so you do not wanna miss out and we are almost to 500 subscribers. I can feel it in the palm of my hands. So thank you so much for the support. And as always, thank you so much for watching. This has been JC. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.